cubes of mutton simmered in a spiced masala gravy with melt-in-the-mouth potatoes. Flavoured further by the marrow in the marrow bones, this mutton curry with roasted coconut bursts with flavour. Hi and welcome to Rumpa Ratu's Kitchen where I share a weekly recipe with you. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Now, mutton is a favourite item on the dining table of most Indian households. It is enjoyed in its many different guises as a curry, a masala, a roast, a kurma, a paratal, a varval in its many forms. Today's recipe is one of the mutton preparations that I make at home. It is a curry I make by lightly roasting coconut with fennel seeds and then grinding this into an aromatic paste with black pepper corns and adding it into the gravy. I'm sure you'll like this recipe. I've listed the ingredients in the description box below, so let's get cooking. We need mutton. I have 700 grams of bone-in mutton that I marinated with a ginger garlic paste made with 10 grams of ginger and 7 cloves of garlic. I then set it aside for half an hour to rest. Now let's keep this aside. 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds 1 teaspoon of black peppercorns and quarter cup of scraped coconut I'm going to lightly roast the scraped coconut and the fennel seeds after which I will grind these three ingredients into a paste Let's now dry roast the fennel seeds and the coconut The fennel seeds are lightly roasted now, so let's add the coconut for roasting. In goes the coconut. Now let's roast the coconut until it turns a light brown. The coconut has turned a light brown now, so let's turn off the stove, cool this mixture and then grind it together with the black peppercorns into a paste. Let's move on. I have 2 tablespoons of coconut oil heating up in the wok. I'm going to fry the whole garam masala snacks. 1 inch cinnamon going in, 2 cloves, 2 cardamoms, and one star anise. Let's fry this whole garam masalas on a low flame for one minute. Two big onions chopped go in next. Together with three stalks of curry leaves. Now let's fry these onions until they turn a light brown in colour. Onions have turned a light brown in colour. Now let's add the next ingredient that is one medium tomato chop. Let's fry these tomatoes until they soften. The tomatoes have softened, so now let's add the next ingredient. The marinated mutton goes in. Now, let's combine the mutton with the rest of the ingredients. Now that's done, let's cover and cook the mutton on a high flame for 2 minutes. Two minutes 
and the mutton is cooking nicely. Let's now add some color to this mutton. Warm and vibrant saffron, deep red and earthy colors of turmeric, chili and meat masala powders. Let's now blend everything together to get the homogeneous hue of a gorgeous curry. Now that's done, let's cook this mutton on a medium flame for 3 minutes. It has been 3 minutes. Now let's add some salt and 1 and a quarter litres of water. I need this amount of water for the mutton to cook. I don't use a pressure cooker. I prefer to use a wok with sufficient water to slow cook the mutton. This is to enable the flavours of the curry to seep into the mutton. Now, let's wait until the curry starts boiling. Our curry has come to a rolling boil. So let's cover and cook on a medium flame until the mutton is about half cooked. Now let's check if the mutton is half cooked. It is, so we can now add the potatoes to the curry. Adding the potatoes now. Now let's cover and cook the curry until the mutton and the potatoes are done. Okay, let's now check if the mutton is done. It's done, so the potatoes must be done as well. It has taken this mutton 55 minutes to cook. I'm now adding the pepper and roasted coconut paste. This is so sure to increase the taste. I'm adding another 100 ml of hot water because my family loves more curry. Now let's cover and cook this on a medium flame for 3 minutes. Three minutes are up. Adding two pinches of garam masala powder. Give this a final stir. Now let's turn off the flame and let this curry rest for a little while. Mutton curry with roasted coconut. Just for you. Enjoy. Please do try this at home. I'm sure you will love this dish. Until I see you again next week with another recipe. Thank you. Stay safe.